Welcome everyone. It's the 17th of February, 2022. These are Jenkins documentation office hours. In, in Asia, it's actually the 18th. We'll go ahead, agenda topics I've got, news, Jenkins is the way content merge, weekly change log review process discussion, just to be sure we're okay there, LTS change log for upcoming, a troubleshooting section proposal that came from Gavin Mogan and Zinab in today's earlier session had a, a refinement for it. Good first issues. If we have time, I thought we could go through and do a live bug fix so that others could see, hey, this is how you do a fix. And then if we've got time, discuss system five in it to system D and open PRs. Any other topics that need to be on the list? Nothing from my side. Good to me. Okay, so we and at the conclusion of this session, so after one hour, we will end here because then we begin a 30 minute session on Google Summer of Code for those who may be interested in Google Summer of Code. So uh, it won't be on this call, but a different call, and I'll be there and Alyssa Tong will be there. Great, then. So let's let's talk to. One item of news, 2.335 has been released. It, is, it now includes the system D based Linux installer and a migration facility that migrates from the old installer to the new. Uh, we've had two different users who mistakenly thought they could perform upgrades in Linux by just changing the war file. And what they need to do is really run the full run the installer or run the package manager upgrade. And, and so we'll, we'll probably put some documentation there about it. The UI improvements have been a little more brittle this time. If we look at the Jenkins download page for the weekly, what you'll see is quite a number of bugs that have been reported, uh, mostly related to images that are not being rendered correctly in the new build. Uh, this is not a big deal. It doesn't break functionality, but it is distracting for the look. And people are working to fix the issues throughout, have been working since they started being reported. Uh, LTS is coming March 9th. And this one will have the first phase of UI improvements and change log and upgrade guide will be needed. I'd propose we plan to do a draft review next week during office hours that will be just after the delivery of the LT of the release candidate any questions on the news items yes uh, um no question is just uh, looking forward to review the draft to know more about it the process that's all uh, well, and, and this one, this one, because of the UI, the UI improvements uh, mean that more effort will be needed in the draft, right? And I think we may even do a blog post because it's there are things in the new look that are, I think, are really great to highlight. And leaving them only in the change log and the upgrade guide doesn't do them the justice that I think they deserve. Okay. It'll also be nice because going forward in the docs when we have to mention that this change, it's, a, it's nice to have a blog post we can link to. Right, right. Very good. All right, so. Good. So you're planning to publish the blog next week or? Sometimes no, no, the, the blog post would be um, likely the week, the same week as the release. So the week of March 9. Okay, sounds good. I'm, I'm not, not ready to do a blog post without, well, in particular, because there may be backports that yet arrive, the number of backports was larger this time than typical, in part because UI improvements have a tendency to break things no matter what. All right, any other questions on, on the news? Okay, next topic then. Um, 
Jenkins is the way is a site that's been used to collect stories from users. And those stories have been collected, gathered. We're ready now to bring them under, under the control of the Jenkins project itself. They've been being gathered by a separate company. Our contract with that separate company ends in April and we'd like to not lose these. So what's been discussed is a proposal that was discussed with Alyssa Tong and agreed on and with the help of Gavin Mogan, there's been a transition that's converted these pages and all their content into a data-driven website so that we can manage it as code. And what Gavin had suggested was, hey, let's, Gavin's, the initial request was, let's put it all under www.jenkins.io, but we've realized that would double the size of the repository because there's an awful lot of content here. So what we've counter-proposed is, thanks to a suggestion from Oleg Nanashev, is let's use a different location. And so the proposal is Jenkins is the way .jenkins.io as a separate site under the Jenkins.io domain name. And we'll put the stories there. It will have this look and feel, and we won't have to pay the extra cost for the hosting. I like that. Fabulous. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, hi, Kristen. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> good. Your Great. name so, didn't pop up there. I was surprised to hear you. Oh man. How's it going? <laughs> so so we'll I've got the action item to work with the infra team to find the best and most effective way to host it. As an example, we're currently hosting. Uh, wiki.jenkins.io as a Docker image in our Kubernetes cluster. But we could e just as easily host it other ways. And I just have to learn from the, the infra team what they prefer. I've got a question. Are we going to keep continuing gathering stories for Jenkins is this the way? Absolutely. Or? Okay, cool. Yeah. Great. Now what we what we probably will not have is we had a separate organization who was doing the curation and the coordination. And we will probably switch this to instead um, use pull requests to coordinate it. Okay. And since um, pull requests should be lingua franca for all of us or everybody who, who's using Jenkins, I don't feel bad about that. Perfect. Yeah, not at all. Um, but that means we need a contributing .adoc file for the repo, right? Right, we'll need and and we'll want we'll need a team that reviews them yes so let me make a note of the question because it's worth me double checking with Alyssa. we continue to accept um, contributions to jenkins is the way and i think the answer is yes yes but likely with pull requests Anything else on the Jenkins is the way topic? Yeah, I think uh, on Gitter, there was a conversation between Kristen and Gavin where uh, Kristen said that, do you want, Mark, do you want to add it as a agenda to the meeting? So is this was the same thing or not? I'm just reminding. No, that's that's this thing right here. Okay. So yeah, I saw that and I was like, yes, we got it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It was so, good. Thank you, Mark, for doing that. <laughs> excellent, excellent question, Diraj. Well done. <laughs> okay, that's all. Good. Okay, yeah. So, so, and that one I think is, is a, we will have the, get to that conversation. I think Zenob has made a, an even better proposal than I made. So let's, let's get to that here soon. So next topic or anything else on Jenkins is the way. Okay, next topic then, weekly change log review process. So thanks to thanks in particular to Diraj, to others, if you've been involved in weekly change log review, the technique we switch to is asynchronous. And that makes it better for me and that I don't have to have two, two office hours during the week on different days, both late nights. So I appreciate your flexibility there. Is it working okay? It worked great for me last week. Diraj, did you feel like your, your concerns were resolved and honored or did I miss something? I think it's, it works great. Uh, my concern was just that I, I'll not be able to look at the pull request multiple times during the day, during the week. So uh, during Monday, I would just 
re remember it like at a weird time that oh today i need to review it so i'll just go to the github and uh, look at the pr and would just spend around half an hour something like that and i will just re review it and be done for it so it is easier for me as well okay good all right yeah now i have not i have not sent any any reminder emails and that was one that was listed on my to do's would it help you if i sent reminders uh, reminders of what reminders to others hey please review this this week i think it would be more okay. useful is like a, is there a deadline that we want to do that there is i need to if i haven't seen them by monday evening 6 or 7 p.m. my time i won't see them okay so that that maybe is something a little bit more to remember too cuz yeah just to know that i have a good time to review everything by okay yeah so before marks let's call this end of day monday and end of day monday my time which means before Tuesday, about 7 a.m. India Standard Time. Or let's see, Kristen, in your world, about 9 p.m. Yeah. Your time, 10 p.m. Is, is getting to the point where I, I want to be done for the day after early sure. morning. <laughs> yeah, no, I get, I get it. I was just more like, what time do I have to remember to be able to get on? Right. I'm a late night person, so sometimes it's, you know, just like it comes to me later in the day. So I just want to make sure I get feedback in before so it actually helps yeah and and thank you very much so i think what I'll, I'll i may try sending reminder emails um on sunday evening or early monday morning just in case and we'll we'll watch it and see if it helps if it doesn't help i stop sending them but if it if it helps great we'll watch could so, i do um, how will you send reminder emails like so and to whom I was just going to send them to you, to the okay. all the, to those who are in attendance at this meeting because you've been the reviewers. So the candidates okay. to be oh that's a good point. The candidates to become, uh, to become, uh, what what's the title again? How embarrassing. Copy uh, editor. Copy editors, right? Receive the uh, receive the reminder. Yes. And we still don't have the the contributor license agreement thing. So I'm holding off on having you submit a contributor license and therefore holding off on making a copy editor still. And Oleg's just been very busy with the, the other things and easy CLA registration hasn't happened yet. So right. he's supposed to be implementing it for uh, Dynatrace too. Oh, okay, good. Yep. So what would this easy CLA registration process mean if it happens for us? So what there's a contributor license agreement uh, that is required in order to be in order to be a copy editor. And that contributor license agreement is you you agree that you'll live within the, the bounds of contributing to Jenkins. The challenge is today we have that process, but it's rather complicated and requires submitting signed PDF files with uh, some exotic signing techniques that we really don't want to put you through that. Okay, that makes sense. So, so it's just trying to trying to avoid some work. Yes, we could make you go through the CLA process that I submitted but it was it required gpg signing of something and this and that and it was really complicated then oleg had me do the easy easy cla process as a test and it took about three minutes wow. and so so I, I was much happier with the easy cla process it's a lot lot more a lot more friendly to people who are contributing hmm. that's great so okay. last question from my side is uh, you're saying to we need to complete it before your end of Monday. So it's like the the previous docs office hours time. That yes. Have? Yes. Okay. That's a that's a that's a good that's a good threshold. If you get it done before the start of previous docs office hours, that's good enough. Okay. That's all.
Now, Meg, I love that you put in a, a question there, and I think it's a good one that we need to ask Gavin. Uh, let's go back to it. Will we have a search facility? Uh, I think we certainly want one. Uh, we'll, we will need to register it with Algolia. <coughs> and uh, they have two forms of search. I don't know which one Gavin will prefer. There's the, the, the really smart, finely tuned one that we use on plugins.jenkins.io. And then there's the pure doc search, which is the one we used on www.jenkins.io. And that one has the benefit that we don't have to do any administration of it, any caring or feeding of it, it just works. Ah. But it's not as it's not as well aligned because when we tune something, it gets better and better based on the tuning. Right. And this because this could be interesting. I mean, why does anybody want to look at this site? And they might be looking for somebody who's doing something similar to what they are. So that could get into really interesting. Right. Sorts of right. Searches. I think search search is a search is a really we've. We've seen that the search on www.jenkins.io is very helpful and that the search on plugins.jenkins.io has actually guided us on which, which plugins are most in need of documentation. Uh huh. It's actually a little embarrassing that the top hit plugin is still the Git plugin after like 12 months at the top of the list. So, so there, there is no no hesitation to spend effort on documenting the Git plugin. Anything we can do to help it is good. Yeah. All right, anything else on Jenkins is the way. Okay, next topic then. Oh, we talked about, what am I saying? I went back too far. Weekly change log, anything else there? Nope. Okay, LTS change log. So this one, um, the backport candidates are in process. Um, we'll start, we should plan to review it for next week. And so review at next uh, office hours or before next office hours. If we're lucky, I'll have submitted a draft as a pull request and we can talk it through, look at different ways to present its concepts, et cetera. Any questions there? Um, so would it be like that long uh, change log that I see sometimes? Yes, yeah, it will. So it will look like, let's take a quick look at it and see, it will look like this. If we go to the change log, it will, it will have this style of look. So two sections, changes since, um, changes since 2.332, and then notable changes since 2.319.3. Is that what you were referring oh. to, Diraj, or something different? Yes, the same thing. Uh, we also discussed about this during one of our previous Dog Office Hour meeting, where you explained mm -hmm. it to me with the help of diagrams. So, yes, that would be helpful if we review it. Great. Yeah, and, and deeply valuable, much appreciated that you're willing to review it. We will also do an upgrade guide and the upgrade guide will follow the usual pattern of a number of things that have to be noted in it because they are actual upgrade, upgrade relevant changes. And there are some things that may require migration or plugin compatibility concerns that have to be noted in the upgrade guide. Yes. Sure. Great. All right. Anything else on LTS change log? Okay, next topic then. A troubleshooting section. So Gavin Mogan asked a question in Gitter or observed, hey, we're, we're seeing a frequent question that's happening is of the form, I could do this operation from my command line but it fails in Jenkins. Help me fix it. Mm -hmm. 
and and for instance, things like Selenium tests or um, operating system user specific tests or path specific conditions where, hey, you had the wrong Java in the path, those kind of things. Uh, you can imagine there are as, almost as many of these kinds of failures as there are people in the world. Uh -huh. So, so what he suggested was, could we have a troubleshooting section? Or what he suggested was, he wants a page to put these kind of things. And in Gitter, I had suggested, well, let's put a troubleshooting page underneath the system administration page. And in reviewing it today in Doc's office hours, Europe time, Zenob suggested, hey, why don't we just create an entire troubleshooting section like, and here, let's take a look at it. And so I can show you what her idea was. She said, let's do this, whoops, wrong one. Let's go here. And if we look at the overview, you see system administration managing, and she's suggesting after scaling Jenkins, let's put troubleshooting. And in it, we will immediately put obtaining a thread dump and diagnosing errors, because they both really are about troubleshooting. We probably should also consider putting viewing logs under troubleshooting. Yes. So the idea was there will be a new top level chapter, if you will, in the handbook. What do you think? Does that sound okay? I love it. Um, could I add one more other thing? Any mm -hmm. of these that we can reproduce the air, like we can do the stupidity, if we could show a log snippet about what looks when, what it looks like when it fails, Agreed. that would be a nice thing to include. And it might also mean that search would mean if I'm getting a certain error message, I could search for that error text and land in the right uh, spot. Okay, no, I'm not sure. So you're suggesting for any of these common questions, if it's got a failure mode, we describe it? Well, what I'm saying is, when I do it, does it? When I do this wrong thing, does something show up in the logs? Got it. And if it okay. does, what does it look like? And I would prefer if we could put in the text rather than a screenshot of the log, because then the text would be searchable. Makes sense. That makes okay. I see what you're saying. So by including the text rather than just a picture, we get the benefit of searchability and. Yeah, that, that's I like that. And, and it should work because it should be straight ASCII text. So right, yeah. But I know. I mean, I've no. We've got all over the place. We're like, watch your logs, look for your logs, and we never tell them what they're looking for. Right. Good. Good yeah. hint. Okay. Exactly. So when we are searching for the error message, I mean, with the error message, we instead of um, Stack Overflow, we can land to the Jenkins site as well. Right. 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 And I think it's interesting. So, I, so it's after, it's just as long as it's a top level after system administration, because I can imagine that some of these problems are people using Jenkins. Right. And then other things are people who are system admins trying to set up a Jenkins. And that's right. almost too completely. I, I still want to keep. Admins whose users are coming to them and say, why is this right. happening? Right. Right. Exactly. So it's like I, I would I'd rather have it at like a top level. And I don't know if we need to further break things down, but I think starting off with immediately, like just maybe almost in the form of a question, like this is Selenium is like, you're saying Selenium is broken or <laughs> my Java is wrong <laughs> like, or, you know, or um, I think I saw one even in the chat or chat today about the, the Jenkins home was set to a different thing and right. it might not have really, but that's an example of like system admin stuff, but maybe like, you know, it's a little bit different than being able to get- But the thing is, those are running. the solutions. Right. If I knew that I have the wrong Java in my path, I could fix it. I'm seeing right. some other error condition and I have no, you know, and the answer is sure. you've got the wrong. So that's, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying, Meg. Right. Well, exactly. and and so, I, and I think I, lo I love those, those ideas. I was going to bring, let's see, where's the sample? Here it is. So as an example, we have some answers already. I'll just put them into the notes. And Zenop has agreed she wants to be the one to do the pull request for this. So oh, she's, okay, cool. she's okay. asked if, hey, could I do this? And I described to her, hey, here are the steps you take, and this is how we would do it. 
and she was very happy to do that as a her as a contribution from her. Cool. Yeah, I was getting the feeling that she was starting to get restless that she's managing all this stuff, and it's like I'm not getting my fingers into this. Exactly. Yeah. I want to. I want to do something. Yeah. Right. And she is absolutely fabulous. I just love her. Me too. Okay, so um, the thing that I wanted to, to show briefly here was this wiki page that already has some of these kind of things. Now, admittedly, it's not a pretty page, but it gives us several failure modes with error messages. Ah. And so, so it's the, the, the pattern and notice the date stamp on it. It was all the way, it was started originally 10 years ago. So, oh so this is not a, this is not the first time we've seen this kind of problem. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. So we, we will use a, an entirely separate section, a, a separate section in the user guide. And we've got now, I think I like that, that we had a third candidate, which was viewing logs that should move into there as well. Yes. In fact. Okay. So, and that is, where is that? This one right here. And so I was guiding Zenob in the session earlier today on how to use a redirect for those existing pages so that the page can move out of this chapter and still be found by its old URL. Ah. And, and she, I think she understood that as well. And if she didn't, we'll make it work later. Anything you else? How you test for the redirect. Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Testing, Any, testing, testing. <laughs> anything else on the troubleshooting section? Kristen, you were the one who brought this. Is that okay for you as a proposal? Yeah, that works for me. Um, I originally started looking at the community forum because I didn't know if we were because I didn't know if there would be a good place to put it there. I like it on the Jenkins IO because that way it's a little bit more, if it feels a little bit more official than like Daraj was saying about like someone Googling like a stack overflow for her answer that could be out of date. Um, we will have to make sure that we keep these, we add these to reviewing however we, whenever we do updates. So to make sure that well, the troubleshooting second section stays accurate. Um, oh, go sorry. ahead, choose <laughs> oh, Go for no, it. No. Um, and I wonder if there's like a good way that we can figure out maybe like if we after we set it up if there's a good way to maybe put a call out on some other forums or anything to see if we can get ideas for hey what are Ooh. some other places that we run into pro oh, yeah yeah and make it clear because they that there's two ways um obviously we would love to have prs against this when it happens right but tell them if they have an issue and they don't know how i mean they may see the problem and they don't know the answer that they can file an issue right yeah, well, and, and you, you, Kristen, you inspired a, a, there's a page that doesn't exist yet, that only exists in community.jenkins.io, this is tables to divs migration steps. Ah. It's a pretty common report. Hey, I was running Jenkins 2.173, and I've decided to upgrade oh to 335. <laughs> oh <my goodness>. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm broken. And, yeah, and how do I do oh to my. fix that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that, that was three years ago we shipped that yeah, it hasn't been yeah, maintained for three years like uh. <laughs> and 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 the answer there is ah we'll do these steps as a minimum you must do these things and and we've captured them by hard experience mm -hmm. but but having them on an official page i think will will do a better job for us of yes here's the hard experiences page right <laughs> Great. Okay. Ooh, that's so funny. I can't believe I can't believe that's the uh, maybe someone finally. Oh, we probably should upgrade. It's like oh no. yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> like, oh, all, no. those, all those security advisories. Wow, you yeah. make, maybe one of them applies. <laughs> oh, no. I bet a lot of people they'll get hired in if they they look for somebody that knows Jenkins and they go in yeah. and find out that. Oh sure. Oh no. Hey, yeah, it's exactly this... exactly like an oh no. This is. Not I good. admit <laughs> I've been working with computers for a long time. And I have never, ever upgraded software without losing something I loved. Sure. And so I am the world's worst at, I put off, <laughs> Greg, I hate to upgrade software. I just hate it. Yeah. yeah. That, that makes that's, sense. That's, well, and, and it's, a, it's a fair choice, right? Hey, if it works, why exactly. should I break it? Why should yes. I risk breaking it? 
Yep. Yes, that's the big thing, especially if you're shipping some very critical your your software here. You do exactly. Not want to have and that go down. What's the statistic that fifty three percent of the Jenkins builds being run are still in freestyle? Oh. No, so. no. Thankfully, we have passed the tipping point. We've Woo-hoo! got more than half, more yeah! than half our pipeline. All right. Woohoo! Yes, that's right. So more than half, but but still, there's there's still a lot of freestyle projects in this world. All right. Anything else on on the troubleshooting section? Yes. So since Kristen also said that uh, this troubleshooting uh, troubleshooting section will help us to put our position in like uh, near Stack Overflow when so user is searching for the error message. I was wondering, like, is this the only place for troubleshooting we have in Jenkins.io, or there are other sections as well? where there are error messages and there are solutions in form of blog posts or maybe a dedicated section. My main intention is, I was wondering like, uh, it's it's a very <laughs> big idea. I was wondering like, can we increase the visibility of Jenkins or like whenever a user is searching for Jenkins related messages. So like before Stack Overflow, they would be thinking like, Hey, uh, I should first of all look at this search result on Jenkins.io because mm. that's where the error is. So I know it's a big, big uh, thing, but just wanted to know what you think. Yeah, good. I, I think it would be a great goal someday um, rank higher than Stack Overflow. Which is like very difficult, I know. <laughs> uh, well, it's it's a there there's a there's a stretch goal, yes. Mm. I like that. I think it's. Well, we know how many hits this page gets. We aren't tracking hits for pages of documentation, right? No, actually, I think we do track. I I believe we've got. I've. I think we've got page 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 use data. Okay. And certainly, Google keeps. Do they? Yeah, I'd, I'd have to explore it to see. I haven't. I haven't much worried about our page rank or those kind of things. Just assuming that we've got a lot of content yet to create. Right. Right. I just so want to make sure that it stays up to date. That's kind of like my thing too, like making sure that the troubleshooting mm-hmm. is accurate. Um, right. And that's always a hard thing. But mm-hmm. as long mm-hmm. as we add a review to it every once in a while, like the upgrade guides and stuff, I think that would be enough. Yeah, mm-hmm. maintenance of these stocks as a whole, for sure. Okay. Mm, okay. Yes, sounds good. Anything else on troubleshooting section? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Next topic then was, I there was a new good first issue that was submitted today by Vadek on a report for broken and I think it actually may be broken images. So if we look at this page, this is the bug report. But you see here that the configure global security uh, thing that I think was a diagram previously is now broken. And so my thought was we could spend a few minutes doing a live, let's diagnose this thing, or we could shift and go on to other topics. What's your preference? I'm good with fixing it. Does anybody else has anything more exciting? Um, I'm sorry, what's the question? So the question was, should we, should we spend the time to, as a group, fix this bug? a good first issue or would we rather do other topics and let somebody pick it up later as a good first issue to work on it except wait a second i have a protest oh what's that i think this is largely addressed in the pr from hell that i created in october that we still can't get approved for merge well so let's that's a good test and i think that's a good test for us as a group let's check it because let's look at the one that you had created that was this one, right? Security for no drafts. No, it's the big one of security restructure or something. Restructure security section. Section, yeah. Okay, so let's open up that one and let's go look at its site preview and see if it has the same problem. Because if this fixes it, then we don't have to, whoops, wrong steps. Hang on just a minute. If this fixes it, then we don't have to do what we should focus on is getting this merged and let that fix it as well. Right. Okay, so here's this. Here's the preview. Because I and made the, big changes recently because of this very feature. Uh huh. Yeah. So, 
So here is the page that he, he noted sophisticated administrators can use the built-in access. So this is customizing rules. I've got to find that page in the, in the URL. So Jenkins customizing rules. Oh, nope, nope. I missed it. It's right here. Yeah. Okay. It's on this page, which is controller isolation. So we borrow this URL, go back to the to the prototype site. Here it is. Good. Okay. So go to the preview site. Still broken. Okay, good. So fixing this it would still be needed even in this case. Okay. Except that the doc, the stuff that needs to be fixed is completely moved. Well, so then how about we fix it in your PR, Meg, rather ah, than okay. fixing it in some other location, let's fix it there and use that as a motivation to say, this is one more reason why this, this PR needs to be reviewed and merged. Right. We keep now, getting uglies. Daniel, Daniel observed here that he thinks there may be other cases where the same problem occurs. So we, we've got more than just a single problem potentially. Well, so would you be changing stuff? Yeah, no, um, go for, you want to, you want to grab it and do it or you want me to do it? Uh, actually, I think it may be best if we have, well, we can have you do it or I, I think we could do the investigation as a team here and then you'll have to actually be the one who submits the, the change. So we could have you submit the, 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 the correction. Okay, well, let's look at it quickly and then maybe I'll take it, I'll go get the, um, get that branch and get it up. Um, okay. Now to confuse you all, but for good reasons, um, we want to, oy. okay, I did not touch this particular section. It's the link to it and security that I was in. Great. So, so maybe this and, is a safe thing to change in your pull request. Right. Um, or, or this could be separate than maybe I was seeing it as something else. What I had done, we used to have, we did at one point along the way, we had a separate file that was about the enabling the um, agent controller. Uh -huh. And that file went away because that option went off the UI. So it is now buried in the um, in the section about distributed builds. At the end, it says that this you know this is something that happens, and and then it points to. Okay, well, and if as I look at at the files that are changed in your pull request, it looks like this file, this agent to controller file, is not changed in your pull request. So I think it's independent. So we could make the change independently. Right. I was, yeah, I changed, I changed the one that was in the security section. I didn't, I left that same link. So yeah. So so maybe that, that gives us now the freedom. We don't actually have to do it in your pull request. We right. can do it elsewhere as an independent thing. Let's That's good, Jen. Since I haven't, I've stopped looking at this all the time. I've just lost hope that it's ever gonna move. Um could we look at the preview for distributed builds? preview this, for distributed builds which in, okay which in this pr uh sure so you want to look at just let me get back there okay yeah. so you want to look at this one and you say distributed builds yes okay um come on Okay, so that's oh, not, it, um, it's 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 oh god, he's got it. Um, how jobs execute? No, it's what controller isolation. It? Controller isolation. That's the term. Okay, so here's controller isolation. And zip down to the bottom. Okay. As it's and that's all about how agents and all this sort of stuff, and. Okay, we're at the end yeah. here. There we go. And yeah, you're in the section. I think there's a header up just above where you are. Agent, yeah, agent. and controller security, this one? Yes. Or oh, agent two controller security, okay. Yeah. Um, 
And let's see, so this should have a link to the because and just but it, you can't turn the filter off anymore there. Um, can tweak the rules. This should be the link. Then you could tweak the rules 112, starting line 112. You can tweak the filters rules by adding allow deny rules to specify the commands. Blah, 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 blah. C. So now is that the bad link? Oh, no, no. That This is definitely not the bad link. Oh, okay. No. And, and in fact, the, the bad link is in a file named, let's see, what did we just use? The file is named agent dash two dash controller dot a doc. So, so that file is not even in your pull request. I think my pull request deletes that file. Re well, I would have expected it to, to report that in the query that I did. Okay. And the so, reason it, it was because at one point I was making this. So if you looked at the table of contents here, you would find everything that was on the UI. Mm -hmm. And this is no longer on the UI because you cannot disable it from the UI anymore. Yeah, and well, so I don't, I don't see it there. The I see securing Jenkins was deleted, but I don't see any other deletions here in this, in this PR. Oh Lord, and it's I'm pretty sure that that file got deleted, but the content is where I showed you. That's why I, that's. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch tools just for a minute oh. so that I can, so I can run with the tools that are a little more familiar to me. Cool. Okay, so. And the PR is 4612. So, and you were thinking that it, that there may have been a change related to that agent dash two dash controller, this thing. That file I believe is deleted. Yeah, so that should show up in the diffs here. Okay, so there's a link to it that is unmodified. So I'm pretty sure it can't have been deleted and there's a link to it that's been added. So I, I think we're safe to, to go touch that file. Okay. Well, we can touch it. We can always go back and get it later. We can do that, right? Right. I'm sorry, this has been going on for so long and my head is just foggy about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's the file that is that has that contains the thing that's broken. And sorry for the tiny text, everybody. And then the the place that was broken, it says for an introduction about the agent. Okay, and, oh, oh, look, it's the picture. That's the problem. Ah. Okay, the problem is a reference to a picture. And now the question is, where is that picture and how do we get to it? So you, I'm used to doing having to do things like put one more double dot. To, until we finally find it. So just a minute, I'm gonna start a build with this thing and we'll go, we'll play experiments. Okay, I'm trying to get back to that branch. Okay, so here we are. And let's open it up. Oh, and by the way, uh, others have shown how you can do this exact kind of thing uh, using Gitpod, so you don't even have to run it on your own computer. Huh. I didn't. 
Ah, it's still working. Okay, sorry. My build is slower than I expected. Yeah, um, John Mark Mason showed how to do how to do development on Jenkins.io using Gitpod so that you don't have to have a local workspace at all. Well, that's a problem. I broke something. Nope, something's broken here. So I've got to go fix a problem. Sorry that I have failed to show how to fix this particular bug, but we think, but I think the answer is we have to figure out where this picture is actually located and how to reference it correctly. So do that separately. Wait a minute, because what picture, because the picture, as I recall, the picture that's in there <laughs> is a tiny little screenshot of the thing on the screen where you disabled this thing. And and that would be quite believable. And so what again, no, so back, what did what Vonick say that that thing should go away? No, he just says, <laughs> fix, fix it so that the picture is visible. And what Daniel's observation is that there may be other pictures that have a similar problem. So we uh, need to, to look for other pictures in this securing Jenkins section that may similarly be broken because they're somehow their picture has been okay that one's okay that's good but there may be maybe other things that have been damaged in the same way and we need to just cross check each of these pages to be sure yeah all right so i'd propose we admit that that didn't work the way i'd hoped it would We'll, we'll do that kind of thing later and call this one <laughs> try again later, Mark. Okay, yeah, and I, I really think, I really wish we could get that thing merged before we make any more changes to the security section. This is getting absurd. Right. I know, like, what else do we need for that? So yeah. I agree, like, it feels like we're... The crucial we thing Daniel's is we need, blessing. yeah, we need review from Daniel or Vodak and, and really Daniel's the, the right choice to do that. He right. started it. We just need him to get time enough to do it again. Yeah. And cause it's, it's not, we want, you know, make sure there's nothing bad in it. Okay. And then so like at the, this point, like, can we just tell him maybe like, it's just, this is pass number one and we can come back and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Right. The, the, the general point of this was to get the docs, well, to add some stuff, but to get the docs structured so it would be easy to make small changes to if they were a total mess. And right, he was right. having that problem that when he needed to change something, so that was sort of the main goal here. And now it's just getting, you know, after Hard. months and months, I'm losing yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, so... Because I think that feature, it may be in this next LTS, the removing the ability to disable that filter from the UI is not in an LTS yet. I have a to-do note that when it gets into the LTS, we have to tell what LTS it's in. Right now it tells what weekly it's in. Yeah, and, and I think we can already predict that. I think we already know it won't be in it will be removed in the March 9th LTS. Quite possibly, but uh, but that's what I'm saying is, that, so this is active, you know. Right, it's another reason to move, to, to get that merge. Yeah. Great. Some of the other smaller PRs that are dependent on this one have some real problems that are non-trivial. They probably shouldn't, a couple of them might be done. I don't know, 
but this one is the, this one needs to get in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else on that good first issue effort? Okay, next topic then. Linux installer switch from system five to in it to, in it to system D. I'm gonna do a blog post. Um, there were many open issues that were resolved in the Linux installers as a result of, of this, this improvement. Special thanks to Basil Crow for, for a complete rewrite of the Linux installers to use modern Linux initialization system. The, oh, fabulous. It, it, it really is. It's an amazing what he did and how much he did. We now run automated tests on 10 plus Linux platforms wow. to be sure that the installer works. And yeah, it, it's, a, it's a sweet piece of work. He did almost 500 lines of Debian SH script in order to in order wow. to do the migration, terrifying. <laughs> and that's that's it for me. I propose call it done. I need to take a few minutes break so that I can get ready for the next meeting. Google Summer of Code. That makes sense. All right. And I need to get great. to dog school oh. <laughs> for all the good it does. <laughs> <laughs> Diraj, anything else from you? No, nothing from my side as well. Uh, so, Heecha, did you get anything worthwhile out of this meeting? Will you come back? You're muted if you're speaking. So it's for site there, right? Yes, sir. I. It did, worked for you. Did the session help you, Saitya? Saitya. Yes, sir. Great. All right. Good. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Everybody Recording. have a great week. We'll talk next week. Talk to you next week. Bye. Sure. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye.